Yeah, boy. Hi guys, welcome back to another Game Boys with us today, guys. And today in the video, you can see the episode card be episode 158 is finally here, which is awesome. So massive thank you to every one of you guys for coming on to the video and giving it a watch. Always, always appreciate it. So thank you so much. So today in the video, you see it's it's about 20 minutes long of footage. So I think that's quite quite good so hopefully you guys will like this there's quite a few car boots but there's not much of the car boots that i'd be showing you so there's only like a few finds i find at each car boot so yeah hopefully you guys will like this one as you know it's always great getting a new one out and uh yeah thank you everyone as well for sticking around because i didn't get one out last week as i was busy but got one out this week so i'm going to try and still keep making them as much as i can until you know, if I can't, then I uh, always announce it on my channel and let you guys know if I can't make one. But, yep, here's another one. And as I said, it's it's got, I don't know how many different weekends of car boots I did, but there's a few different things. I found some all sorts of bits and bobs. Nothing too incredible, but some bits I was really happy with, as, as always. So, yep, thank you so much to anyone who's recently subscribed and commented and all that. Really, really appreciate it. Really pleased that you guys want to keep sticking around and coming back for more, so it's always nice to see. So, thank you very much. And let's now get into the video and hope you guys enjoy the clips. So, I'll see you at the end of the video and uh, yeah, see you in. How was that game? That was cool. Yeah, no, I was about to say, that's what I was looking at. That's how cool it is. Oh, my dear, get that. Must be it. How much are the games, please? A pound eight? Yeah. Nothing there, empty cases in one. 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 Yeah, we'll put some in the box. It's just a bit dirty, isn't it? It's nice. You've got to clean up, though. Yeah, you should be. Clear somewhere. Clear somewhere. I'll get it, yeah. Yeah, but... This is a console as well. Mm -hmm. console, mm -hmm. How much are you asking on the console, the Xbox? 20 quid. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, yeah I've, got, I've, got three, I've got three from you. Lovely, thank, thank you. you. Get, get two games thank, you. Here. thank you. Just picked up two Xbox 360 games. As you see, you've got Minecraft and I've also got a Lego game. Both of them do need cleaning, but, you know, a bit of a buff and I can go straight to CEX. Huh. Right, How much is your Furby? 25 quid, mate. He's a Gen 1. Oh, he's cool. Gen 1's a medium, yeah. He's cool, he is. Yeah. Never seen that one before. Not that like colour, no. 25 quid for a fair bit of boots out with it not actually working um yeah very nice one to see i really like the color of it but 25 pounds a bit too much for me how much is your scooter um, five. Five. Yeah, okay. There you go, it's five. Oh, perfect. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you. It did, Thank. didn't it? Awesome scooter of a five quid. This is a Mad Gear one, which Mad Gear is a really good make if no one knows. And scooters, I do pick up scooters because they are actually worth some money. So, yeah, definitely worth grabbing if you see right. scooters like that. I've got That's them. That's right, we're collectors. <laughs> How much is it, please? 
I have no idea what to say on that one, to be honest with you. Quite for Kenny's. <laughs> Good idea, where's the box at home? I think I'm not, I'm not sure I've got actually tell you the truth. Good game actually, isn't it? It is. I'm sure for it. Quid or two? Quid? Yeah. yeah, I'll take it for a quid. I don't know if I've got it on the last the problem. <laughs> <laughs> if not, you never know, it might be slightly... I might not have because it's, I think that was when I was looking at it in the CX. Oh yeah. I think, I'm not too sure. There you go. Have you gone back to all the like, retro consoles and yeah. stuff like yeah, that? Yeah, we them, yeah. Yeah, I'll, yeah. Go, I'll go right back to the, the Atari. Yeah? Yeah. Are they getting easier to find or are they? Harder. Yeah. And as I say, most of the time people don't say anything on this training in CX. Yeah. yeah. Patch has picked up an awesome game for a quid. A NES game, awesome. But now let's now go to another car boot. How much are your DS's? 15 and 10. How much say? 15? 15, yeah. 15. How much is the red one, do you say? 10. 10. You just keep it, I'll, I'll be, I'm just going to go see what money I've got there. Yeah, yeah. I'm just on that side there, mate. Just uh, give me a sec. Good oh, okay. yeah. Was you 20 for the boat? 22. No? 22, okay. Yes, mate. No, Charlie, I bought the power supply one. I haven't bought the power supply in the box, I've got the wrong box. Oh, 60 quid. You see it doesn't come with a channel. There's two and another. No, I, I ain't got the charger, mate. Cheers, Thank buddy. you. £22 for fully working DSs. Can't go wrong for that. They went straight to CEX. And one of them did go to my mate Jake for his collection because he wanted a red one. So I ended up moving it on to him and now he's got that one in his collection which is a well happy with. How much is How much is your controller? Pounds, yeah. Thank you. Now this controller is awesome, it's the one they use in Ridge Racer which I actually made, so they've got like a little steering wheel in the middle of the controller, and it's official, it's like a proper decent controller, and it's just so random, it's like a really rare thing to find at the boot sale, and for a quid I was well happy. Few bits of CX you see got a you know a nice old guitar hero controller always worth taking into CX they always give you more than what I just paid like I paid like a five reach for these and also a connect which these connects are going down they're not really worth much these days I do end up I did end up taking it to the CX but it's not really worth it if you can't get one for too cheap For this as well, I'll just all together, yeah. Ten of the third, um, two hundred and seven for the pair, eight for the pair. Eight. Sorry, I know. 
Thank you. Thank you. Just picked up another uh, connect, which is cool. Um, another one for CX to take in because, as I said, they do take them. Uh, I can't remember. I haven't even looked what they recently give you now, but at the time they gave me, I think it was about eight quid or something, not too much. Um, but yeah, and I also got a 360 control, which is a nice connect as well. So that was good. How much, how much are your games? Um, they're all a pound each. Okay. That's two pounds. Thank you. Thank you. A couple of games for a quid. Um, the Simpsons game um, on the DS is actually worth a bit. Um, so that was a good one to take in. And also I've got another game there as well, which is Fessilation. I can't say it right, but yeah, there we go. And let's now go to another car boot. Let's do it, guys. I didn't get it on video of me buying this Furby thing, sadly, but I do end up like picking them up. I think I probably paid about a quid, and you know, a good Furby, Furby bean bag can't go wrong for a little plushie like that. How much is it? There you go, thank you. As you all should know, it's not a Game Boys or Austin video without me picking up a boomerang because I've always been into them. I would say this one, the big um, stripy one, that's actually from the 80s and that ends up getting snapped in half by my friend because we went to the park to fry it out and he lobbed it wrong and it snapped in half. That was great. But yeah, the joys of boomeranging. I was thinking of picking up that controller, um, but as you see, it was for the PS3 and it didn't have the wireless adapter, so yeah, that's the annoying thing about that. How much are you asking on this? Five. Yeah, right. There you go, thank you. Five pounds for a snake board, always worth grabbing. Snake boards are quite valuable if you can find the right ones. I'm not sure about this one. This one's probably about a 50 pounds snake board. But some of them can be up to a hundred um, quid in that, so yeah, definitely worth grabbing. Um, when you got a pound, you got change. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. 
Thank you. Thank you. Cheers. Just picked up a really cool, weird pencil case type bag thing of Mr. Blobby for like 30p. I just thought it was really random. Never seen it in my life, so I thought I'd grab it. So there we go. A bit of 90s nostalgia for me. And now let's now go off to another car boot. Just coins. Cheers, mate. Uh, Don't need them with these ones. I thought that would be yeah, on your, your street. Thank you, mate. Yeah, I've never seen that. Do you a pound in that one? Uh, yeah. 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 There you go. Thank you. Picked up that game for a quid, as I've never seen it before, and it looked quite good, so I thought I'd give it a try. Not bad. How much, how much each? Five on the whole box. Okay. Thank you. Not bad for a five if you wanted to have them all, but a lot of them didn't have games in them. And there weren't anything too great there, but now let's now go off to another car boot, see what this one's like. Let's do it. How much are your cards? Um, it says quite. Ten pounds. <laughs> probably for the whole lot, probably about ten pounds. Okay. That was fake. You can, you can get it, man. Do it for Jake. Uh, yeah, you can do it for Jake. want them. Yes, please, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Just be doing that for you. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks. Awesome bunch of Pokemon cards. A few awesome classics in there as well for ten pound that Lewis just paid for. So you grab them for ten quid. Yeah, with some nice ones in there, definitely worth it. How much are you? How much are you? Pound each. How many? He's a fake one. Right, 
It's all complete, it's just obviously not got the original. Oh, yeah, the inlay. Yeah. inlay. I'll get that as well. Cool. I'll get that on. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you. Quidditch, a Game Boy game, I had to get them all. There was a few there you can see that were fakes, but still for a quid, definitely worth grabbing. And Ridge Racer for a quid as well, which just needs a new inlay. That is actually a good game to trade in as well, yeah. so awesome. How much are your games? Uh, 50p each, lovely. Okay. Let's have a look at these. Oh, chip of the wood. Yeah, let's have a look at it in there. Then. That's not in there. 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 That's in there. That's not in there. Oh. Is it some that are in? No, nothing in them, no. Oh, exactly. I bet you my son's had all of them. And let me have a look, see if they've been put in. I saw a case in somewhere. I'm wondering if they've been Yeah, it'll probably be in a case, yeah. I've got this, this has got. That's not cute. got the games in there, what's for that? Oh. Oh, I'm sure I'm not going to have that. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's it. It's not the right thing. Hey, guys, it's nothing. Come for the game. I can't find them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. See, I admit, see, this was the box that the other DS stuff was in. Have a look. What's in there? Is that? That's very quite good. Yeah. I'm going that one. Oh, they're them torches, isn't it? You stick yeah, on them. I'm going to see if I can get to the bottom. How Everything. much is this? Is that the actual camera as well? Um, oh, it's alright, it does yeah. that. <laughs> Yeah, just don't check it's all there because that should be two pounds. Because <laughs> if my son's had all of it. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That one. Yes. Yeah. 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 The only one that's in there is that one, or some of these cases. So, yeah. There you go, lovely. I'm ever so sorry about all of this. Do you know what? I'll come, I'll come across them later and I'll be absolutely... There you go, do you want them back there if you... Yeah, let's get rid of them. If you've got the games, we'll be at home then. Look how much that game in these, these bits. I'll do all that for a pound. Okay, thank you.
There you go. Thank you very much. Thank you. That was an awesome deal for a quid for all them bits and bobs they got off her. And as well, it would have been amazing to get them DS games off her. But sadly, they were all cases. The games were left at home. So I ended up giving them back to her so she could find the games for them. Um, but someone probably, if you ever does a copy again, someone's going to get a right good bargain. Welcome back. As you see, got some right bits. Not too bad. I went to some uh, a different carpet I went to as well, that that one. I think it was, um, I've never been to before. Got a few random things. I think it was like that weird, um, what was it? So, yeah, that's it. Um, Mr. Blobby weird pencil case thing. I don't know if you guys saw it or out of the video. Uh, that was a bit random for like 30p. Just thought 90s nostalgia. I remember it on the TV back in the days. Um, so I thought I'd grab that as I've never seen it before. Um, there was also... Some Game Boy games I got, which I don't know what I've done with them now. It was a long time ago. Um, and also them Pokemon cards that Lewis got. Lewis got some Pokemon cards. There were some nice ones there for £10. Um, ends up selling them to my mate Jake, because that, you know, that's his brother. And, um, yeah, he ends up having them for his collection because he's out on the hunt for the Pokemon cards as well. So, yep, got them. And what else do we get? I don't remember, because I've not really watched this back properly. Um, one thing I completely forgot to mention, guys... I don't know how I forgot, but I did. I got that Namco Jogcon controller, which is actually was sold with Ridge Racer. They were trying to sell it with that back in the day, on like Ridge Racer 4, I think it was, or one of them. Um, I got the controller still, but I tried to find it to show you guys it, um, but I have no idea what I've done with it. I don't know what I've put it. I put it in a box somewhere. Um, but I do have it still. It's a really cool controller. Definitely keeping that, as I've never seen one before, and it's probably quite an unusual controller to find. And for only £1... That was sick. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed me getting that. That was awesome. I, I don't know if I ever find one of them again because they're about 40 to 50 quick controller, something like that. Um, and it's a very unusual one. So I'm very happy to have that. And yeah, it's it's a cool little piece to my collection. Not really got anything here to show you that I still have. I might still have some of the stuff I don't know, but it was a while ago. And as always, you would have seen me picking up stuff for CX, which would have been long gone by now. Like the, I did get a few... Um, usual bits you know you know what i get normally always the same kind of stuff but yep it's still out there so i hope you guys are enjoying the hunt and hope you guys are enjoying when the proper season comes in because i am i'm looking forward to when it. it's a bit warmer at the boot sales i've only actually hit up one car boot this year i've not been to any more for a bit um so I hope you might hit up another one this saturday i don't know um but yeah that'd be good if the weather's good and also i'm going to be at doncaster so if anyone's at doncaster on sunday i'm going to be there um Doncaster video game market I've not been um for a while so it'd be quite good to have a wander around and see what's there and see what um is for sale anything nice bit anything that catches my eye I might grab um so that should be good going there with Lee from Retro Fusion so that'd be awesome should be a good day out and um yeah if I see you there that'd be awesome and um there we go so massive thank you guys hope you had a lovely rest of your week and all that and lovely weekends and I'll see you all next week with another carbon video so thank you very much have a lovely rest of your day and stay awesome bye guys